our scene opens up directly above Habba. Uh, oh, geez. now I'm doing that. Thanks, Habba. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked me up. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> Jubilant. <laughs> directly over the closed eyes, closed eyed face of Jubilant. As her eyes open as the sun is setting. She is in the trailer. Seemingly like none of the events of the previous night happened. Yeah, I'm going to uh, look at, uh, I'm going to, you know, go up to one of them that's uh, that's sleeping. And uh, I'm going to attempt to take an ID card off of them. Okay, what is your dexterity and stealth? Um, dexterity's two, stealth is zero. Okay, um, let me roll. Okay, you're not able to do it. You, you, you will know that you would not be able to do this without people noticing. Okay. Isn't larceny for like pickpocketing? It would be not stealth. No. Kind of, yeah, but my larceny is also the same. Okay. No, larceny. Yeah, I was just, I was just curious because larceny, larceny would be like more like, like picking locks, that yeah. kind of thing. So, oh, okay. Like dexterity, stealth is for sleight of hand and stuff, stuff like that. All right. Then, um, by knowing that, then he will, um, he will look, look at, he'll look at one of them that is like kind of like sleeping off by themselves, and he will shake them awake. And um and say, um, well. I, the role player, am not very good at coming up stuff on the fly. But Alistair is extremely good at at uh, lying. Um, <laughs> and I'm not sure exactly how he's going to spin it, but he's going to, like, cause, cause, because, you know, he wants to take advantage of the person who's half awake. Um, and convincingly, he's going to, like, say, hey, hey, we need, we, we're, we're, we need your ID badge. Um, security said there was a problem with it. I, I can get it back to you without knowing that kind of thing. Um, convincingly. Right, so um, what is your real no manipulation subterfuge? Between manipulation and subterfuge, I have oh, no. five. Okay, five. You have a special team either? I do not. Okay. He's half awake, so I'll give him a negative two. Okay. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. And he'll just like kind of pat him on on the back, and then just and then just walk away. The With rest the of the doctors are looking at you like. <laughs> this guy just walked in with a black overcoat and suit and convinced this yep. dude. They're like, okay. Yeah, and then <laughs> he didn't make any contact. He didn't look at any of the other doctors or anything like that. He purposefully walked yeah. away. That's what Alice is doing. Okay. And then he'll uh, walk, take the stairs back down to the to the morgue sure. and use that badge to let himself in. Uh, you see a uh... I guess the nurse who would be at the desk. <laughs> it's usually the, like the shift nurse that's usually at the desk. Uh, she looks up and goes, "Yeah." Ah, good, good to see you. Um, uh, I'm glad somebody was down here this late. Uh, look, there was a John Doe that came in a couple of days ago, and it's really important that I get to get get the file on that. It was a terrible terrible case um they called me in from out of town and didn't give me enough details okay the uh, name's dr gold it was it would have been um a couple of days ago mutilated body drained of blood yeah can, it, can I, I just need to see the, the chart real quick 
I... Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, that's... Um, body's been moved to the police station. Police station? Yeah. Uh, I can't believe... Nobody told me. They told me to come all the way down here. I'm, I'm sorry. It's 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 not your fault. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. It, communication is just it gets it gets worse every time. Man, I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh no, no problem. Uh, who can I say is uh, was looking for it? Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm Dr. Gold from Chicago. Alistair, when you approach your car, you see Alien kind of just sitting on your bonnet back on the windscreen. Uh, oh, just geez. sitting, waving, what oh, appears my God, no! to be your ah. radio aerial. <laughs> <laughs> asshole! <laughs> then again, it is a BMW, and all BMW owners are assholes, so there you go. <laughs> and you'll kind of wave it and see you coming and kind of point at you and you're like what have you been doing tonight? Mr. Ilium I, I am surprised to see you here and he's, he's points back at the hospital um, I was attempting to find the body here at the hospital I went up to like get a badge work my way in as a doctor cause take some I'm time yeah mm-hmm Unfortunately, the body is actually no longer here. According to uh, the staff down in the morgue, they moved the body to the police station. The police, so, you know, the morgue down at, down at the police morgue. So that apparently the, uh, you know, the police examiner is going to be doing something with it. So that's bad. We're a little late on the body, unfortunately. Yeah, that's safe. Tough that does get at it. Kinda, yeah, it's fucked up. That, that kind of takes away from the body. Matthias might be able to uh, might have some he does have some connections with the police Matthias might be able to assist us in getting to see that but uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to get myself into the, uh, into the into the police morgue so this was this was a bust unfortunately I mean we could try <laughs> um, no unfortunately from I would not be able to I would not be able to do this. I being here at a hospital, you know, me being a doctor and all that. I'm very pretty confident I can make my way around. I don't really deal with the police. Yeah, so, did did you happen to find out with police station? You would have. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, like, I, like, I know. What that was kind of doing. me as well as Helium. Yeah. Because... <laughs> Like, oh shit, you want me to yeah. make that shit up too? You're that like, like you'd be like, oh, fuck, <laughs> gotta go back. <laughs> yeah, like, oh shit. Oh. That was cool. Um, but that, like, you're here. 30, 40 minutes ago, you were driving by me. You can see where I've got an issue. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about, actually. What do you mean? You weren't here all night, and I know you weren't here all night. Something's gone on. What do you mean I wasn't here all night? I came, I came here. You gave me that shite. You know what I'm talking about. I came out my house, and you were driving by. I followed you here because you were supposed to already be here. I, I think I know it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I have only been here for about 45 minutes to an hour. Ah, um, I fucking solved it. Yes, you did. Good job. So, anyway, I'm, I'm going to Everybody says back. that I'm annoying, but see, I'm, I can be smart. I can solve things. So. Right, um, Certainly. Anyway, I was, yeah, I was, I was going to head back to the Haven. Uh, if you want, I can give you a look back. Yeah, cool. Um, I, I was stop so half back would have given me the address. Can we stop back half somewhere just quick? Like it's only going to take like five minutes, and then yeah, where do you need to go? 
Uh, I, I'll direct you, and I'll like direct them back to like From. my little area where like Jerry would be. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like the underpass. <laughs> <laughs> You said something about a drink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> follow me. So we follow. Yeah, and you, and you follow him to the wine cellar, <laughs> which has multiple people hooked up to uh, machines, which in which they are being basically harvested for blood. Ew. Carter instantly is like disgusted and pissed off that this is happening. Jubilant is he does disgusted. not like that. This does not. Mm. Actually, it fits right in with oh, no, the cattle <laughs> thing. We said it earlier. She still doesn't like it <laughs> because she's more focused on on bringing they people seem to, to their They height. don't seem to be in any pain, but they also don't seem to be conscious. Hmm. This is a little distasteful. Yeah, no, Carter does not like it at all. And it's very obvious in his facial features that he does not like what he sees. You have something to say, my boy. I don't personally like this type of setups. We do what we must. There should be a line. There is a line. We do not feed from our own. I believe Mr. Codner is implying that uh, he is uncomfortable not knowing if the People are donating willingly. I don't see why that's a matter. It matters to him. You know what? I am surprisingly full. Uh, let's just... What else were we talking about? Did we find out if but, you knew that guy? Like, I just am trying to avoid this and keep peace with Carter because I know I have to go home with Carter and I'm pretty sure if I drink any of these, he's going to be pissed at me. And I'm not dumb, so I'm just like, let's completely shift this situation. But uh, as as you say that, uh, it's it's not really a tap, <laughs> but, but <laughs> he takes a goblet and he fills it and hands it to Matthias. Thank you. I'll look at JD and be like, thank you, and I'll take a sip. They have been curated with the most delicious of resonances. Chipolin is just very clearly uncomfortable to be caught in the middle of this because she also doesn't really like it much because it's not really what her church does at all. And she's now thinking about why he said they don't feed from their own. Like, they don't feed from people that are in the church of Cain or they don't feed from other kindred. What does, can I, oh no, I'm so uncomfortable. Me, Habba, and Jubilant, we're both super <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> Where's my phone? I'll, I'll, hand it, I'll hand it back to JD. Not bad. All right, and you will, since you drank that, you will Gain. It was sanguine resonance. As uh, as there's an awkward silence, but I actually go. So, um, I do believe we're waiting for your people to find potential victim. Yes. 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 Uh, and as you say that, they come down with a uh, sheet of paper, and it says, huh. 
That is interesting. 